Huh. What? Yeah. Cha. Cha. <laughs> this is PVRX, if I'm gonna say his name right. Go. This is I. It's, it's, it's I. So let me just talk about this dude, right? I'll tell you, I discovered this guy off uh, Six Buzz TV on the IG account. How I got there is a whole nother story because I don't even be on that shit. That's a Toronto thing, Toronto thing for those who know about Six Buzz TV, right? I wouldn't even recommend it as being like a great channel like that because some of that stuff is, is just pure bullshit and memes and all that stuff. It's not my thing. But I was on Reddit and I was like asking a question on Reddit and someone mentioned Six Buzz TV. That's how I got to the IG account. And then I noticed that they were showcasing some uh, Toronto artists. So I was, you know, interested because, again, I like to know what's hot or at least what's decent. I get an idea of if there's anybody coming out with anything, you know, cool. And so they had a bunch of tracks that were all garbage. With the exception of this PVRX dude, who I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think is that great. But I do think that where... The rest failed. He at least showed a tiny bit of potential. And that's why I'm making this video about him. Look, listen, it's been a stale year. I can't think of anybody that's come out with any kind of songs or showing any kind of potential for something that I might be even interested in. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm making this video about the brother. Um, dude out of Rexdale, I think. That's interesting. You know, I, I like his pie chain. I know, th you know, this is not necessarily related to the music, but just the fact that the dude is rocking a pie chain is kind of interesting to me. You know, that's different, especially coming out of the, the hood type of thing. You know, it shows that he's mentally a little bit elevated, if that makes sense. You know, it's the little things, you know what I'm saying? Um, the song I just was playing is called Go. There's another song called Quanchi. You know, my bitch do Quanchi or whatever. You know, again, there's a potential there. I think that personally for me, um, I would, first of all, find like much, like those beats are okay, but I would find beats that are a little bit more unique to him, you know, in a sense, and fit his vocal tone a little bit better because I do think that there's some talent there. He can kind of rap, you can tell, but I do think that he needs to find a beat, at least based off some of the stuff I've heard, he needs to find a beat that kind of fits his vocal tone a little bit more. And then it's like something much you know, a little more interesting. You know, like I'm a huge, obviously, Pierre Bourne, Playboy Cardi, Rocky fan, and Pop Smoke fan. And like I've always said, I was in Brooklyn when Pop Smoke became a thing. You know what I'm saying? I saw that shit almost firsthand about how, like, you got to come with something different. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we respect. You got to come with some real swagger. All the shit that I tell y'all, you got to have a great voice. You got to have a unique, you know, but hard hit and spin that makes people want to get into your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to mean something. Like, when Pop Smoke came out with that Dior, like, niggas was feeling that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in Brooklyn when that, like, I remember when Meet the Woo, I've said this before. I heard Meet the Woo one the day it came out. I was in uh, Flatbush, East Flatbush. I was hanging out with a dude who was Pop Smoke's neighbor the day that shit came out. And I was like, yo, this shit is fucking crazy. This scenario shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude's got it. He's different from everyone else. And look at what Pop Smoke became. You know what I'm saying? Like, as an artist to me, I feel like you just got to be something different, man. Like, why, why not? And that's what I'm saying with PVRX. There's a little bit of a difference there. It's not enough for me to really champion the dude. But I'm going to give the dude a little bit of flowers and just say, keep going, my dude. Try to, you know, try to make something a little bit more rugged and standout-ish, you know, if you can. Um, but, you know, I'm not holding my breath. Like, because a lot of times with Canadian artists, they end up just trying to copy what, you know, whatever's going on in the U.S. And the shit is corny. And that's why we don't really get the respect. Because at the end of the day, respect comes to those that's earned, man. You know what I mean? I just saw a video that's mad funny with Kyle. Um, he was talking about how, like, he, he tried to put his uh, hand on Ice Cube's shoulder. And Ice Cube was just like, man, get that shit off me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These older rappers don't respect you because you haven't done nothing. You know what I'm saying? You think Ice Cube really, like, that's why when I look at these cosigns, I know that shit is business and it's fake. You really think these older rappers, the Ice Cubes and Nas and Hoves of the world is really fucking impressed by your, you know, your corny ass song going viral? They don't give a fuck. They look at y'all like, you know, you're here today, gone tomorrow. And look, they might like you, 
you know, genuinely or even every, you know, the odd case. But a lot of the times they're just like, man, you just a little nigga. You ain't done nothing. You know what I'm saying? Your songs ain't gonna last. You're, you're here today, gone tomorrow. They've seen people, you know, make songs, go, you know, get some money, go broke. Like, you know what I mean? That's why for me as an artist, like, I look at this shit like, yo, listen, I want to make shit that's respectable. You know what I'm saying? Not that I care necessarily or I want the old heads to, like, to love me necessarily. I mean, there's some of that. You want your idols to respect you. You know what I'm saying? But I want real respect. I don't want fucking clout. Like, that's, that shit's corny. You know what I'm saying? I want to do it better than the fucking guys I respect. That's what I'm talking about. That's when you get the real respect. It's like when you can do some shit that's on the same level, if not better, than your idols, then you're going to see a different, like, a, a real love. Not this, like, fake, corny love, like the cosign driven shit. Because a lot of you, you know, new guys, man, all you do is you want that hype. You want that, like, your name in the paper. You want to be mentioned by somebody. But that's not real art, man. Real art is shit from the soul, you know, coming with some hot shit. Something that's really going to fuck people up. You know what I mean? And they have no choice but to like that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Peace.